All right, everyone, welcome back. So here we are still in the middle of the proverbial dark winter, as they like to call it. But here in the Pacific Northwest, I think, honestly, we're about three or four weeks away from a uh, full swing of spring. We've had a mixed bag of weather, snow, rain, sun, wind, all in one day. And generally, that's a good thing. That just means the season's about to flip over. So fingers crossed the 2021 season will be starting shortly. If you're trying to kill some time, or if you're new to the channel, uh, I might be able to help you out with this video. If you're not a newbie and you already know everything there is to know about electric conversions, this video is not going to help you. I'll just tell you that right now. But if you're toying with the idea of possibly getting a boat and doing a conversion, or you just want to learn a little bit more about it, this might help you out. Save yourself some money. Don't go out and buy a boat. Don't go out and buy like an electric uh, motor package or anything like that. Go out and spend about 50, 60, 70 bucks at most and get yourself eight to 10 components, what I have here on my desk. It's kind of like a grade six or seven science fair project. Although today, I think this would be laughed out of the gym because kids today are gonna be using Arduinos, drones, robotics, CRISPR, genetic hacking kits, you name it. Um, but for me, this is as good as it gets. And this is all you're gonna to need to get yourself started. All right, now, why, do I, why am I doing this? The reason is this. When you're starting out, it's really easy to get into these uh, forums or YouTube channels or Facebook pages. Uh, I hate Facebook, I don't ever really go on it, but um, you know what? I know there's like uh, clubs or something on, on that platform. Anyway, um, it's very easy to get lost out in the weeds because you're going to hear all this conversation about AC, DC, LEDs, lithium, solar, uh, H-bridge, pulse width modulation, variable frequency drives, Hall effect, analog, potentiometers, you know, resistance, uh, kilowatts, kilojoules, all that stuff. And honestly, um, you don't need to go there. You don't even need to really entertain that for a long time coming. So all you really need to know is that the goal is to spin the prop. And how does that work, right? How does it work to have electric energy spin the prop of a boat? All right. This here is going to help you out. So let's just look at some of the components. Okay. They like said you can go to an electronic store. If it's local, you're helping a local business. But I understand it's always a little cheaper to buy this stuff online. And uh, it is what it is. You do what you want. I'm just telling you what I've done. And to be honest, I just have it sitting around and um, it just helps me contemplate the build. Even though I've been doing this for uh, a number of years now, I still always think about it, right? I always think about it on a, a smaller scale. And then, um, you know, obviously I've taken it up and done it with a bigger scale. So on the small scale, you're just gonna need this. A simple toggle switch, right? Three tabs on the back on off, nothing too complicated. Here you're going to get a uh, potentiometer. Now it doesn't normally come with this little uh, red servo arm but I just wanted it to feel more like a throttle rather than a stereo knob and a potentiometer is just a variable resistor. Get yourself a bag of breadboards of all different sizes. Pretty much those act as bus bars. Bus bars are just things that'll help uh, connect circuits. I don't, I don't really know a better way of explaining it, but it's an easy way to connect um, wires. These things are called uh, jumper wires and they have little pin heads on them. And you basically just um, connect them to wherever your tabs are or other pin heads are. Now I've got to get it in the right spot in order for this to work. Hopefully I didn't screw up my demo, but um, like I said, I don't want to go too deeply into it, but I'll, I'll go over high level of what everything does. So here, so this is going to control, it's a variable resistor, so it's going to control uh, voltage, sit your voltage signal um, that's going to the motors, which in this case is a brushless DC motor in the form of a computer fan. Pretty straightforward. They can handle up to 12 volts, but in this case, I'm just using a five volt battery to power it all. Um, it's the same thing that you would use to charge your cell phone. Here we've got a voltmeter ammeter. This is kind of cool. Can't really see it on the back, but there's a, uh, it's no even point showing you, but there's a tiny little shunt in there that helps you uh, register what the current is. 
It's kind of neat, a lot of this little stuff on the uh, mini scale. Uh, this here is just a hub, it's a fan hub, and it allows you to plug in more fans. So if you want to increase the load on the system and see what happens, you know what, it's always good to experiment. Um, this is an easy way to do it. But for now, we're gonna to stick to one fan, very simple circuit. This here, I'll go over uh, later, but it, it really is just a tachometer. It's just measuring the RPM. That's why I have a little magnet glued to the fan here. And every time it passes, it uh, theoretically pulls electrons, triggers the signal, counts as one PR RPM. Um, and this runs off a different battery because it needed more than five volts to actually operate. So I just uh, have a, an old uh, nine volt line around. Seems to do the trick. Let's fire it up. So this will be no, no different than turning the power on your boat. Now, of course, on a boat, you've got uh, beefier equipment because you're dealing with a lot more power and you're going to need um, a motor controller and, uh, you know, solenoids and things like that. Uh, chargers. Um, there's, a, there's a few other items that you're going to need and they're going to be obviously a lot more heavy duty than this, but this will just get you started to understand what's actually happening in the system. All right. So we've got uh, power on. Um, as you can see, we're reading no voltage, no amps, and that's because I have the potentiometer set on full resistance. You just, you just alter the resistance by uh, turning it one way or the other. It's very much like a stereo knob or an amplifier knob. And um, it's on full resistance, so we're seeing no voltage or amperage draw on the uh, circuit. If I open it up a little bit, pretending that's the throttle, you'll see the voltage climb. And probably at some point the fan will decide to spin, probably needs about three volts, I think. And you're not going to register too much of an amp draw just because it's so tiny with these fans. But if we open it right up, there you go, 0 0.06 for amp draw. And there you go. This is your system. And literally, you can put this together in an afternoon and you can read about what everything is doing. And um, let's get this tachometer going here, see if this actually works the way I want it to. There you go. Is it going to read 606? Is that right? Yeah, 606 RPM. And you know, you can manipulate this, bring it back, see the RPMs drop. So, there you go. This, in essence, is just a small, simplified version of what you're going to be putting in a boat, maybe a car, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, bicycle planes, whatever. It's an electric drive system. I say electric propulsion because boat, all that stuff, but uh, I know that everyone has their own uh, definition. But 50, 60 bucks, this will get you started. Go out and buy it. I'll leave links in the description. They're not affiliates or anything, but it'll just help you get started. And you know what? It might save you a ton of money. You might put it together and go, you know what? this is all I needed. <laughs> I, 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 I'm happy having this. Or you might say, you know what? No, I actually want to get a boat now and I want to see what I can do with a boat. And um, there you go. Uh, I hope that was useful to someone. I realize for a lot of the subs that are um, far more advanced, this was rudimentary. And um, you know, it is what it is. But it's more geared for the people that are new to the channel, trying to understand a little bit about it. If you want me to show you how to wire this, I'll throw this out there. If I get like 50 likes in around there, 40, 50 likes, then I'll do it. If I don't, I'll have to think about it just because it does take time to shoot these videos and I got to pull this all apart. And then I got to like make sure I'm saying everything correctly because there's always people out there who are like, actually, that's not the correct verbiage or term for this, uh, component you're talking about, you know, or whatever, right? You always get those guys. But um, that's it. I'm going to stop talking and I hope you like this video. We'll chat soon. We'll, I got more stuff going on on the boat, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. We are in the middle of the dark winter. Weather is crap and I got to work. So we'll chat soon.